Hello again, welcome to the Real Ale guys. Um, today's brew is Badger, Badger Breweries, make ales, ciders, um, I'm not sure if they do a lager or two, they probably do in their range, but this is Badger's Thirsty Ferret. Quite a nice story on the back of this, um, it's full of character that says in the bottle, it's 1777. Don't know if you can see that on the bottle there and it's got inscribed on the bottle can you hear that it says Dorset Ales um, here's the bottle top now the story goes with this brew is that Miss Rose Gribble um, left her back door open where she used to brew ales and a ferret went in and used to taste the ale calling it the Thirsty Ferret um, you can go along with that if you want. I imagine, you know, there's no harm in um, the story being true or false. Um, it's a bitter, bitter beer, but I am, well, it says on the back of the bottle, it should be sweeter. I've noticed that with Badger's beers, they tend to be um, a lot sweeter than a lot of other ale companies. Um, they tend to be a more citrus, um, the range of beers are more citrusy, um, more fruity. On the back of here it says um, this should be a subtle smell of orange um, in the brew. It's a malty beer, nice golden colour. Let's open it. Oh, look at that. That is, it's already given off some carbonation in the bottle. It smells, it does smell fruity. It's, let's give it a bit of a pour and a wash round. Get the head going. Yeah, definitely, definitely a um, a tangy orange, like an orange peel smell to it. Definitely going on there. Let's get it poured out. Nice head. Quite a nice head there to show to the camera. Quite, not too lively. Quite lively. Not, you know, it's, it's. I've had ales which are so lively in the past, but this is not too bad. This is not too bad. Okay, let's give it a try. Immediately, immediately, there's a tang to this. Straight away, the moment it, it touched my lips, there's a definite tang to this ale. Um, it's nice. It's very nice. It's more taste. If I can describe this beer, it's more taste straight away. It's more boom, bang, like a snap, like a crisp snap to it straight away. Followed by hardly any aftertaste. Um, it's there straight away. Quite a nice beer. If you want to order any of their bits and pieces, merchandise, um, head along to their website, which is www.badgerales.com. Um, or if you want to telephone them to order something, it's 01258 452 141. They got a range of beers, uh, notably Badger's First Gold, Tanglefoot, Golden Champion, Golden Glory. England's, pardon me, England's Gold, which I tried, it's a, it is a review on YouTube on there, pardon me, <laughs> you could probably see that was my first ever review on YouTube, the England's Gold, used a bit of a dodgy webcam, but we've progressed since then, um, Blanford Fly, Badger Original, and Long Days, 
there's a couple of ciders on there as well. That doesn't surprise me with this brew with this brewery. They seem to be they aim their ales at the more fruity, sweet end of the, the ale making um, process. So it doesn't surprise me that they make a sweet cider. Not at all. Um, I didn't see on their website whether they've done any t-shirts or, or any foods. I think they just aim their, um, their, their company at, at just selling beers and, and ciders, which is no bad thing. Um, you may be able to find a, a glass or two on the website, a pint pot or something, but I didn't really look that far into it. It's 4.4% in the alcohol volume. Look at that, the head's just dying down a bit there. But there's still something. It's 4.4% 4 4 .4 in the volume. Quite a nice balanced beer between the malty, bitter and the sweet um, taste. It's very nice. They're from Blandford, St Mary in Dorset. And there's not too much more I can say about this. It's a nice, balanced, well-rounded pint. It's well worthy of going for, um, say, five or six of these, if you like. There's not too much carbonation. Um, that's the difference between ales and lagers in the way that they're made. Ales take... Um, a lager typically takes about two weeks to brew in the fermentation process. Ales more for four to five weeks. They take a little bit longer. There's a little bit more um, craft involved in making them. There's a lot less carbonation. Some of these lagers, there's enough carbonation to make a decent fire extinguisher. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching the Real Ale Guide. If you want me to do a, a review for you in the future, you can email me at Real Ale Guide at googlemail.com um, I'll be doing more reviews in the future ok I'm going to go and enjoy this pint now watching the rugby but thanks for watching the Real Ale Guide thank you, goodbye <laughs>